one of the questions that I get asked the most and the one that most people will ask me help for, and I'm going to present the solutions for you. How do I fix my audio quality for my microphone? This video is for you and you're going to love it. I promise. This is my quick reminder to let you know that every Monday and Wednesday, we talk about all things streaming on Twitch live 7 PM central every Monday and Wednesday. Join in if you want to talk about this live and, and have me answer questions that might be more specific to your needs. I'm always open for discussion about these things. And maybe you can teach me something that I didn't know. Join in on the conversation. I'd love to see you there. All right. So before we even start, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, Diggs, we don't have the fancy microphone. Diggs, we don't have the little Go XLR to do all these things. But you can do all the things that I do because I didn't have the Go XLR all this time. You know, it was something that I recently got. That's not in today's video at all. We're not going to talk about the Go XLR. I'll make a totally different video about that later on. What we're going to talk about is solutions to your audio problem, and it's going to cost you zero dollars. It's going to be really simple. It's going to be really easy. Uh, I'm going to get you set on the basics. And after that, you can fine tune everything to your voice because that's the most important part. Everyone's voice is different. So it has to be tuned to your voice and tuned to your room. All right. So there's a digital audio workstation. That's DAW. It's made for audio recording. Now, when you're doing audio recording, some of the most important things that you can have when using that is a uh, VST plugin. When you're streaming, it's a recording. Uh, it's streaming live. So these VSTs actually work with OBS and these can work. I believe they should be able to work in Streamlabs uh, OBS also. Two major things that we're going to talk about today is one of them is compression. And I'll give you a brief synopsis of what compression is. Compression is the process of reducing a signal's dynamic range. Dynamic range is the difference between the loudest and quietest parts of an audio signal. You need to reduce the dynamic range of most audio signals for them to sound natural on a recording or your stream. The other is a noise gate. A gate is an electronic device or software that is used to control the volume of an audio signal. A noise gate is used when the level of the signal is above the level of the unwanted noise. The threshold is set above the level of the noise and so when there is no main signal, the gate is closed. What that means is when you're not speaking into your microphone, it's like the volume's to zero. And then your voice, the sound of your voice, once it reaches a certain loudness, will open it back up and allow your voice to come through the microphone. So if you have, you know, a fan running in the background and you stop talking, you don't hear the fan anymore. Now, however, important thing to remember is when you start speaking, you will hear that fan. It does not remove the fan from the microphone. It only makes it stop making noise when you're not speaking. So these are things to keep in mind. If there's a TV on in the other room, it's gonna come through your mic while you speak. If there's people talking in the other room, you might be able to hear that. Dogs barking, they'll usually open up the gate and you'll be able to hear that. It happens on my stream. I got two little turds that just insist on barking as soon as I go live. At least once a stream, you'll see me have to get up and go tell the dogs to be quiet. Sorry. Besides those two very important things, uh, EQ is another one. In music, you'll just turn the bass and the treble up and roll with it. But your voice is unique and it needs to be EQ'd specifically to your voice. So it takes a little time to find the sweet spots and everything. EQ can also eliminate some room noise. Uh, if the computer fan's running, it'll usually run on one frequency and you can sometimes find that frequency in an EQ if you have enough bands going across to eliminate that noise. All right, so we're gonna show you the Reaper website and what to get for free to help improve your audio. And we're gonna take a look over here. This is the Reaper website. This is where you find the plugins at. Now your instinct, you're gonna see download Reaper and you're gonna click on that. That's wrong, stop. Don't click anything yet. You see download Reaper up here. That's not what we want. You wanna go down to where it says Rea Plug FST FX Suite. This is what we want. So if you look in this very first box, it'll tell you the features and stuff. And it says, take a tour. If you scroll down to the next box, you'll see download the plugs. Now you're gonna have two options. There's a 32 bit and a 64 bit. If you're streaming, 99.99999% of you guys are using 64 bit. Windows has made a tour. You have to have a 64 bit system to do any of this anymore. So what you wanna do is click on this one right here 64 bit you'll want to install it 
Now, generally, you can run through this and just install it as is. Just click next, 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 and you'll find it in your OBS. Right now, everything that you're hearing is from my Go XLR, and we're gonna switch over. We're gonna hit up the um, we're gonna hit up the OBS. We're gonna show you the OBS, and I'm gonna show you step by step how to get everything going. All right, so here we are. Everything on my Go XLR is disabled, so there's no EQ, no compression no noise gate nothing going on this is just raw mic input um, we know we have a decent mic here but however you can tell it sounds like garbage and I have my headphones on backwards what we're gonna do is we go to our audio mixer in OBS right here you see this right here we're gonna right click on it first you go to advanced properties now what you're looking for here is audio audio monitoring uh, you want to click that down for, for doing these testing purposes and you want to click monitor only mute output and then this way you'll be able to hear yourself and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to hear the effects that we're putting on it right click on your on your mic and go to filters we'll click on plus and then choose VST to plug in we'll call this one gate Okay, and then we'll drop down this menu here and we're gonna look for the REA gate standalone. All of the filters that we're gonna use have to say standalone or it's not gonna work. Your OBS is gonna crash if you don't pick the standalone. If you don't see the standalone, then you've either installed the wrong file or incorrectly. So make sure it says standalone. Now we're gonna open up the plugin interface and we're gonna get quiet. Now all this stuff on the right side, you're not gonna have to worry about it, really. All the stuff in the middle, you're not gonna have to worry about it. So this is, this thing on the left, this is what we're gonna worry about. So we're gonna get quiet, and we're gonna watch where this level is, and then we're gonna pull this bar slightly above that level. So here, I'm gonna get quiet. And now we've eliminated the room noise. So when I'm not speaking, it'll get quiet. What this does is it doesn't open up the microphone until your voice gets to a certain level. You may have to set it a little higher, like my chair is kind of noisy. So I might want to set it a little bit higher. And there we go. All that noise is gone. And when I start speaking, you hear me. Now we want to add another one. So do the same thing, plus sign VST2. We're gonna call this one EQ. Now you want your EQ to go above the gate. It needs to be first in line. So after you get it up there, now we drop down the menu. Once again, look for the standalone EQ, which is REA EQ standalone. We'll select that. We'll open up the interface. And now we have a four band EQ. Now, if you see this yellow line right here, this is gonna be the noise coming in. You can see when I talk, it moves. But if you get quiet, you can see where the room noise is also. And we can eliminate that room noise. As you can see, it's kind of heavy on the bass. So we can take this one, slide it to the left, and then drop it down. And what you wanna do is just cover up that room noise. So about there. Now we've lost all the bass in our voice though. So we can take two and slide it over a little bit and start raising it up. And that's gonna bring the bass in. This is what we like. Okay, now for, for most guys, for most guys, you're gonna wanna take the three and drop it down. Girls are gonna wanna do about the same thing. If you have a deep voice, you wanna drop this down. And this is where that, that radio sound comes in you know everybody wants that that DJ radio sound but now we're really bassy so we want to take our our highs and you start moving it up and to the left until you get that real crisp clear sound and there we go look that's much better much much better and you can move the the mids for guys I'd say probably probably guys and girls maybe um, depending on your voice it depends on your voice girls are naturally more high-pitched than guys are so 
it might need to go further over this way or this way just you have to play with this to make sure you have it in the right spot for me i like it about dead metal so right there we've gotten a lot a lot better sound out of our microphone already so we can close that out um let's see here what else do we got we got a compressor plus vst we'll name it compressor And we want the compressor above the gate, but below the EQ. Once again, the standalone compressor. Top one is the one you want to pick. Okay. Now we have this here. A lot of times, the, uh, the default settings right here are going to be perfect for you. Um, so this will work. For most people you can spend a lot of time tinkering with the eq to um to get it exactly where you want it and um also something else i wanted to show you if you go to your eq and open it up you'll see that you have the four bands here right what you can also do is say uh you need to do some uh some more some more tweaking uh, you can click on this button right here that says add band and watch this we'll have a whole new band here and then we can have even more control to where we can absolutely dial in this EQ exactly where we want it and as you can see uh, just adding that one extra band right there it made a big difference so you can add or remove bands you just gotta play with it you gotta play with it and see what it does if you have a fan going, you can drop your high end like this to kind of eliminate some of that high pitched sound from your fans. Uh, it's not going to fix it, and when you speak, it will probably come through. But right here, you can eliminate. And if you remember, I said, look at this yellow line right here. This is going to tell you a lot of everything. There's your VST plugins, how to apply the important ones, and how to get your microphone sound the way you want it to. Um, the EQ is the main thing that you're going to have to spend a lot of time on. Sit down and make sure that it sounds good. Now, when you're doing this and you feel like you might have it right, your natural instinct is going to be jump online. Let's do a test stream. Okay. This is where we have to have another conversation real quick. Don't do a test stream. Don't go live on Twitch to test your microphone. Do a recording. All these videos that I make, I record in OBS and then I watch them back. And then that's gonna be what's going out to your stream. So you can do your recordings and watch them back and listen and you'll see what it sounds like. If you mess with your camera settings, just record it and watch it back. You don't have to do a test stream live on Twitch because if things are all wonky and out of control, that's you know you don't you don't want to really you know save the live button for when you're ready to go live and then this way you can do unlimited recordings before you ever hit the live button so if you do make these changes you can have your last live where you weren't happy with your microphone now your next live will be like boom magic in the description of this video you'll find the link to the reaper plugins that you'll want to use uh, that i've demonstrated in this video every monday and wednesday we talk about all things streaming live on twitch 7 p.m central come join us i hate the end of these videos like subscribe share do those things i don't know this is always so awkward and if i could just ever figure out how to end these videos that would be great what if i just end them